Well, hello, hyperspace. My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped because this is an epic handy dandy tips and tricks video for Overwatch. So, way back in the day, I actually showed you guys what you can do to change your reticle to your liking so you can perform better in Overwatch. However, there are some reticles that perform better on some heroes than they do on others, and that's what this video is going to be about. There are five different reticles to choose from, and there are over 24 different heroes, so we're actually going to cycle through each hero and see which dot site works better for their playstyle. And we're actually going to go through here. To the pause menu, go to options, go to controls, and you can come to the very bottom here where it says type and switch between one of the five. However, if you want it set for a specific hero, you have to go to the very top where it says all heroes, select their name, and then switch it from there. So, we're actually going to get a look at the dot site first. This is the standard just little pinpoint dot in the center of the map, and this is very, very accurate, meant for very accurate players. And this dot site is even effective on players who aren't too accurate, because as long as they're in the center, they're going to be receiving a lot of damage. These heroes are Bastion, Genji, Lucio, McCree, May, Soja76, Sombra, Atracer, Wittermeko, Zarya, and Zenyota. Now, with these heroes, as long as they are in the center of the dot, they will be receiving a lot of damage. However, Soldier is the exception. With Soldier, his uh, hipfire reticle tends to expand the more you hold down the trigger, so you actually want to hipfire and just tap it. And about the first four or five bullets are going to be pinpoint, and as you hold down the trigger, the next few bullets are going to make it wider and wider, being less accurate. So, get them at long range, tap that button, burst fire your rifle, and it's going to be very accurate. If we actually come here to Sombra, now her gun is very inaccurate, however, as long as you have your target on that tiny dot, they will be receiving the majority of the damage, regardless of range. Yeah, Sombra still has range damage drop-off, but still, that dot is the most dangerous spot with Sombra's machine pistol. It doesn't matter where they are, as long as they're on the dot, you're giving them max damage for its respected range. And one who's very, very dangerous is Tracer. Now, you want to get in close with Tracer, obviously, but if you actually have them on the dot, just like Sombra, they will be receiving the maximum damage given to her machine pistols, and you guys know Tracer's machine pistols are insanely powerful. So, I would also suggest fixing her up with this dot. And another one who's insanely powerful is May, right there. Now, I'll call it May's little uh, ice, wrong button, May's little ice freeze, this thing is not really, doesn't really matter as long as you hit them with it. However, the icicle shard that you can fire with this dot sight, it actually makes it really easy to snipe targets. Check that out. You can actually snipe Widowmakers and Hanzos with this as long as they're on the dot, and you don't have no, like, plus or circle, you know, obscuring your vision. Just that little tiny dot, get them on point, and you can snipe. And there's actually another hero who is also dangerous. Let me actually check Widowmaker. Widowmaker is pinpoint accurate, hence she's a sniper, so just get whatever you want, their head, their leg, their dick, whatever you want to get it on that dot, and fire to get your kills. Now here's the person who's really interesting. Bastion. Bastion has the most, uh, most accurate machine gun in the game, so you can actually pin down the trigger with Bastion and have whatever you want on that dot and it's guaranteed to hit. And when you switch over to sentry gun mode, it's the same thing. Yeah, the sentry gun is very inaccurate, but as with Tracer and Sombra, the deadliest part of the bullet spread will be on that dot. So, those are the heroes I would highly suggest using Dot Sight for. Test it out for yourself, and let me know what you think. Now, there are actually a couple of other heroes who would work better with other Dot Sights. Let me actually come over here and change so we can see who else we can use. Alrighty, here we are. Next up is Ana. Now, Ana should be the only one who has this dot sight because it is really, really effective for her playstyle, and it's just a small cross. Now, the reason I say the small cross is because it's not too big to obscure your vision, but it's also not so small because you don't have to be pinpoint accurate with Ana. Now, she doesn't have a head, uh, headshot multiplier with her rifle, so you shouldn't really focus on getting headshots like Widowmaker, which is why you shouldn't be as accurate. However, with the cross, there's a little trick to it. The cross is just the right size to know how close you have to be to your teammates to heal them. As long as they are near that cross within, I say, touching range, which in one of the cross's uh, arms, your shot will hit them and they will be healed. You can see right here, I'm kind of missing the robot on purpose, right here. Let me test this out. Okay, the robot's in the cross, he's getting hit, I move it a little about, he's still touching it, and he would still get healed. However, if I go too far out of the cross, he doesn't get healed. So this is really, really effective for Honest Play, so you actually want to keep the teammates touching that tiny cross in some way, and they will get healed. And it is also small enough so you can actually get somewhat accurate shots on enemies in case you have to, you know, snipe an enemy or two 
from a distance. So Ana, I feel like she should be the only one who has this dot site. Up next, we're actually going to check out the circle dot site, which is my favorite because it features Diva. So over here, we're going to have the circle dot site. This is for people who aren't really too accurate. And these heroes are going to be... Diva, Junkrat, Mercy, Arisa, Farah, Reaper, Reinhardt, Roadhog, Symmetra, Torbjorn, and Winston. So the reason I would suggest this dot site for these characters is because they're not really as accurate as theirs. You don't have to be as accurate like Diva. You don't have to be as accurate as Diva as these would with a McCree. But as long as they're in the circle, as you can see right here, they're still going to be getting quite a bit of damage. You see the circle is barely touching when his energy is draining down kind of quick. So with people who have shotguns, Diva, Reaper, and so on, accuracy isn't really important, but you still want to get them as close to the center or at least within the circle for some bit of damage. Now let's actually switch out to Reaper right over here, and you can see Reaper plays the exact same way as Diva. Switch out to Reaper, as long as they're in the circle, they're going to be receiving some bit of damage. Again, just like Samba and Tracer, the center of the circle is max damage, but because you have a shotgun, it's not as crucial. So we're actually going to switch out to somebody else who works really well with this, which is Farah. And the reason I say this is because Farah's projectiles are actually really big, they're these giant missiles. So you won't actually have to be as accurate, and on top of that the circle lets you know the, the, the rough location on where the rocket is going to land, and on top of that it's followed by a big explosion. So accuracy isn't really as important with Farah as it would be with, let's say, like a McCree. So I feel like this circle reticle is sufficient. For Farah. Now we're actually going to check out Symmetra, who is really, really unique with this dot site. Okay, so we're on Symmetra, so this dot site is actually to help you know when her beam is at full power. Now you see you don't have to actually have it touching the guy, the beam is still going to connect. It's actually more used for her little big orbs of death that she fires. It actually lets you know when it's at full power, so you can stand back and charge and charge and charging, charging full power fire! And it does a lot of damage, so the instant the ring on the inside aligns up with the outside ring, you know that your balls are ready to be blasted and you can do max damage. And it's it's really useful for Symmetra, I don't think it does that with the crosshair, and I feel like the dots just completely unnecessary because you don't have to be accurate with Symmetra. Now somebody who's really, really good with this dot sight is Roadhog. Now, as you see, let me switch out to Piggy right here. Now, his scatter shot goes far and beyond that circle. But that's not where we're going to focus on. We actually see his slug round, which is the alternative fire. It actually outlines the enemy. How can I say this? If your circle outlines the enemy, they're going to be hit by his slug round by full force. Because how the slug round works is it travels for a little bit. If they get hit by the slug, it only does 100 damage. However, if you outline it perfectly, which is basically put the enemy inside of the circle so they're completely surrounded, perfectly tracing around them, they're going to be hit by the full force. Is he too far? No damage at all. Now let's actually get closer. Outline him. Guaranteed shot. We're going to do the same thing. He's completely low. Full health. Outline. One shot kill. When you use Roadhog, you want to have your enemies on the... Basically circle them. As tight as possible to the uh, circle reticle. And you can fire it to the ground for max damage. Same thing with Junkrat. I feel like he's not... His accuracy isn't really that important. So just have the uh, circle on. Same thing with Torbjorn. Have the circle on. And you can have a rough estimate on where their shots are going to land. On top of that, Torbjorn Shotgun Blast gives you a rough estimate on where his shells are going to scatter. And the final one is Hanzo. I feel like Hanzo should be the only one who has the default reticle because, well, the default reticle actually lets you know <laughs> where the arrows are going to land. It just helps you aim pretty much. And giving Hanzo like the dot, the circle, even the crosshairs, it just doesn't really work with his playstyle. You have the uh, range detections and how far, how high you have to aim before you land that perfect headshot just like that. So if you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force. Let me know if these reticles actually help you out in your gameplay and if you actually design them, uh, designate them, set them, whatever, for, for the uh, these specific heroes. You can follow me up on Twitter at DevontosMan. And as always, I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day.